So Sam and Omar have been living together for the last three years, and they've bought several things together. Uh, but now Sam's gonna go take a job in another city, and they need to divide up their assets. And so we're gonna use a method called sealed bids, uh, to do this. Now, sealed bids allows us to divide up discrete items. Now, these are items that cannot be split into smaller pieces. This is different than, say, a cake, where we can divide it anywhere. Uh, if we have a couch, it's kinda hard to divide a couch in half. Now, there's a big assumption in this method. We're going to assume that we have a lot of cash, uh, that everyone has money that they can use to balance out the difference in value. Uh, it, this, this process becomes much more challenging when you don't have cash, uh, but we're gonna assume that we do. So first thing we need to know is each person's fair share, and the fair share here is gonna depend upon the value that they place on the items that they're dividing. So in this case, each person has secretly recorded their valuation of the items. In this method, each person records their bids for each item secretly. They seal it up, hence the name sealed bids, and it's given to, uh, I mean, in a very formal setting, it would be given to a referee who does the calculations, uh, but in a less formal setting, you know, the friends could just get together and, and then, you know, work through the calculations themselves. Uh, so sometimes you need an arbiter, sometimes you don't. So, in this case, uh, each person bids how much they think the thing is worth, uh, how much they'd be willing to, to pay for it, really. And so if we add these all up here, Sam's total valuation of these items is 650. Uh, they're dividing it in half, so his fair share, his fair share here is half of that is 325. If we add this up for Omar, Omar's total valuation is 600, which gives a fair share of 300. Now, each item is gonna go to whoever bid the most for it. So the couch is gonna go to Sam, the TV is gonna go to Omar, the t video game system's gonna go to Sam, and the surround sound system's gonna go to, to, uh, Omar. So Sam is gonna get the couch, and the the gaming system, and those are worth to him 150 plus 250 is 400. Now notice that this is worth more than his fair share. He's only entitled to 325 dollars. So to balance it that out, he's going to have to pay the difference. He's going to have to pay 75 dollars. And again, that's the difference between the value of his items and his fair share. Now, Omar is getting the TV and, and the sound system, which he values at 250 and 100 is 350. Now, notice that this is also more than his fair share, and so he's gonna end up paying the difference $50 into the holding tank. Now, at this point, both players think that they've received their fair share. They've received the items that they bid the highest for, and they've paid the difference. But at this point, we've got $125, uh, that both of them have pl paid into a holding pile. And there's no one really to get it, so what we're gonna do is we're going to split this evenly. This amount is called the surplus. Uh, so if we split that evenly, each player is gonna get half of that. Uh, that's gonna be 62.50. So in the end, Sam is going to pay $65, but get 62.50 back, and so Sam's gonna end up having to pay $12.50. Meanwhile, Omar paid $50, got $62.50 back from the surplus, and so in the end, Omar's going to get $12.50. Notice that these end up balancing out. In other words, t to sort of balance things out at the end, Sam is gonna end up paying $12.50 to Omar to balance out, uh, their valuations in the end, and both feel like they've gotten more than their fair share.